Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I converted my 3D printer into the pick and place machine uh, to help my uh, audio processing project. Actually, my um, uncle has some hearing loss and I'm trying to make a hearing aid uh, for him so that he, um, it's more like customized um, so they could maybe help uh, his, uh, let's say, daily life. Um, so therefore, I make a prototype board. It's, uh, it's this. He actually has an NRF52A32 um, um, chip in here and then he also has like two microphones. Uh, like a one and two. So basically it's very easy to create um, directionality um, algorithms or the noise reduction algorithm. And then it has also um, a speaker amplifier, um, class D amplifier, um, which uses I2S interface, which is also good. And in the middle here, the very small ones, um, there is like a proximity um, sensor. So um, this is basically for uh, detecting the um, when the user putting the um, device into the ear. And then we also have some um, battery protection ICs in in the in this board. Uh, and then it also has the USB um, interface. And then on the back side, it's um, mainly the capacitor, but it also has the um, uh, the accelerate, accelerometer, therefore it can actually detect the um, the movement of the um, yeah the movement of the the user. So um, I make this one so that it's easier to cut through this place. So in the end, it could be like very small form factor. And in here, of course, we have debugger pins uh, uh, available. And it also has uh, um, two LEDs, like different colors in here, so that it could also indicate different status. So this is the, the board I make. And But of course, it's very challenging because the chip itself is uh, WL uh, CSP. So this one is like very um, tiny chip. Uh, it has a 0.4 pitch for the um, pins. Um, it's very hard to solder. Therefore, um, yeah, every time when I solder this board, it took me about two hours in total, in, including the reflowing of the, the chip. I had to reflow twice. First, uh, the first phase, the, the front phase, and then second time, the back phase. So in order to, to help me produce um, faster or to make some more um, prototype, therefore I, uh, I bought this um, 3D printer this is like very um, common ones you you can basically buy for um, about 100 uh, uh, yeah less than 200 euro let's say um, but this is uh, uh, also very um, good printer let's say but I want to use this uh, printer to help me um, not smaller chips therefore I can um, yeah um, I don't have to like waste some chips because once the chip has been mounted, it's kind of hard to reuse them. Um, so as you can see, I have uh, used the 3D printers and I also make some part um, in order to make it a, a pick and place machine for me. So here you can see I have um, uh, normal, normal pins. These are the um, fluid dispenser uh, you can see here fluid dispenser so how to make it focus yeah and then i make a, a adapter so that the the printer pmp hat can actually come and change the hat automatically and i also have make a um, camera this is uh, the one i bought it for the microscope but uh, i just um, get it over and just use it as the uh, bottom view so they can align the components and then uh, for the suction and of course we need to use this one to pick up the components so I also use the I also um, bought a small um, like uh, air pump so that it could actually um, suck put the air and then do some do the vacuum uh, do the do the vacuum pump and then you can actually apply to this head and then get the um, uh, components att attached to it. So currently I'm still, um, let's say, optimize it. So, and here I actually make a um, another component, which is, uh, um, I think, very uh, useful ones. So this component is uh, basically can attach 
attached to the printer head. And then here it has a, uh, has a one stepper motor. So basically we could rotate it so that it could, uh, um, it could get the components and then rotate to the angles that it needs and then put it to the board. So this is, um, yeah, what I got so far. And actually it's quite useful. I would say it's quite, quite handy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to attach it to it. So basically I also printed this, uh, printed this, um, let's say the, the, the handle so that it could attach the, the pin to it like this. So basically you can rotate and it can actually go up and down with this one. Yeah. And actually it could also support because when you, uh, when you go to the, go to this head socket, Go to this head socket that I can actually um, automatically release the pin and then take the, the other one. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna mount the head into it and then trying to um, and show you how to uh, place how this pick and place machine is like super tiny and cheap um, pick and place machine that actually fits my purpose. It could actually. Um, attach the component automatically and then play to the board and then um, you could also auto automatically change the um, the different nozzles nozzle head uh, based on different components yeah and I use the open PMP software in order to um, to work with this um, uh, 3d printers this one As you can see, it's mounted. Um, it's mounted already to the printer. So um, now what I need to do is I need to um, make sure the the air pump has been connected to the head. Pretty really easy. Plug it in, and I made the I made a hole on the top, so it's easier to um, rotate. But still, at the same time, the tube can be attached, and there's no air can be going out from the side. And of course, we also need. I also need to attach the pump. I'll pump to the control of the fan. So now that it should be ready, and so now I need to um, attach attach plates. This plate. So here I printed also a couple of um, uh, plates just to put different uh, components. You can see like there are different um, resistors and and also the ICs. And here I have the um, plate for the let's say chips and also speakers and all kinds of uh, chips I need to mount them to the to the plate yeah I make some adapters make sure it actually attach okay now you can see it's attached okay the chip itself is uh, get the chip to the release the test drive and the important thing is to get the chip into the right place because you can see this is a very a very tiny chip here yeah. oh, it's hard to even get the uh, focus because i need to make a small very small form factor so i so i had to use the wlcsp package therefore it's a very tiny one and then here i need to have the second the second one second components i probably need to actually make both uh, like this, so it's easier to. Um, but this one I make before, so that I just make a new here to stick. And then I also have um, like a fixture to um, put in the um, actually the PCB, so that it's, uh, it, I can I can make sure that it's uh, um, in place every time. Okay, so now as you can see, then I have mount them into the um, into this uh, plate, and I have a button camera. I have a different components here and then I also have um, yeah some more components and then here is the uh, the head which you need to connect to the um, you need to basically connect to uh, the head so this is my first try I also bought a, a set of the pins here uh, yeah I just 
take a new one here. And then um, basically I need to first put it in place here and I can put the put the head back. Okay, so uh, basically now I have converted the, a 3D printer to the pick and place machine. So in next video, I will show you how we can change the nozzle tip automatically and also calibrate them. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time.